seven-day mandatory home quarantine for all international arrivals in India, calling Omicron mild, a mistake, warns WHO. High drama at Amritsar Airport after 125 passengers of the Italy Amritsar flight test positive for COVID. PM Modi troubled over 15 minutes, farmer scammed for a year, Navjot Singh Sidhu. Novak Djokovic breaks silence on Australian visa road, thanks fans for support. This bride's dance to Saw Asman is breaking the internet. Bahubali's director Rajamouli's movie RRR postponed indefinitely. And behind the scene of the latest Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. Happy New Year to all the viewers of 2020 Stars Fata Fat News, where we cover top political news, sports, entertainment, news that matters to you from India, US, local Atlanta, and all across the globe. I'm your host, Namita. Do you know the latest Spider-Man movie is shot in our very own Atlanta? Down here in Georgia, baby. Down here in Georgia. With some creativity, you can shoot almost anything here in Atlanta. Yes, this movie is collecting raging reviews from across the world. We will show you its behind the scenes shortly. But before that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and share it if you like it. So now let's have a look at the news in details. People flying in from abroad will need to be home quarantined for a week after landing in India and tested on the eighth day. In new rules that take effect to tackle a huge Omicron-driven surge in COVID cases in the country. The number of at-risk countries has been increased to 19. Nine more have been added since December. All passengers have to go into home isolation for seven days and take an RT-PCR test after that. If they test positive, they will be sent to an isolation facility and their samples will be taken for genome testing. Passengers seated near them and cabin crew will be tested as contacts. If the test is negative, the passengers will further self-monitor their health for next seven days, the rules say. For flights from countries that are not on the at-risk list, 2% of the passengers picked randomly will be tested on arrival. The new rules were announced on a day India reported 1,17,000 new cases of COVID-19, a 28% jump in 24 hours. Cases have gone from 10,000 to more than a lakh in just a week as the virus spreads at an unprecedented pace, driven by the Omicron variant. Have you been to Global Mall lately? If not, then you are missing out on traditional Indian food. Ethnic dresses, latest jewelry, and much more. So, what are you waiting for? Soon visit Global Mall at Norcross. The Omicron variant of COVID-19 is killing people across the globe and should not be dismissed as mild, the World Health Organization insisted Thursday. WHO Chief Tedro said the record number of people catching the new variant, which is rapidly outcompeting the previously dominant Delta variant in many countries, meant hospitals were being overwhelmed. Just under 9.5 million new COVID-19 cases were reported to the WHO last week, a record, up 71% of the week before. But even this was an underestimate, Tedro said as it did not reflect the backlog of testing around the Christmas New Year holidays, positive self-test not registered and overburdened surveillance systems missing cases. You can find all kinds of gems, stones, beads, pearls, jewellery, all at affordable rates and under one roof at Beats After Beats. A 
as many as 125 passengers out of 179 who arrived at Amritsar International Airport from Italy tested positive. In the Air India flight arrived at the airport, the COVID positive passengers were asked to quarantine in local hospitals as per the guidelines of the government. A high drama prevailed at the airport when they refused to go to government isolation centers. The passengers claimed that they had already undergone the IT-PCR test before boarding the flight. I over the airport and health authorities, passengers raised slogans against the government and demanded it to allow them to go to their homes. The relatives of the passengers to stage a protest outside the airport. कोई चेक नहीं कीता पैसे लैंड है बस पैसे दो तो जाओ जरा भी आई यार ना उन्हें कर दिया जरा नहीं पैसे दिया उन्हें नहीं कर दे जी अम्मा सर एयरपोर्ट राम गुरु राम दास एयरपोर्ट खड़े हैं हाँ जी किया आज तो सो साढ़े माले बच्चे अंदर आई कोरोना पॉजिटिव काटते ही साठ दे साठ येरो जिन्हें � इन्होंने पॉजिटिव करते अठा घंटा पॉजिटिव कि नहीं आजगा मेरे बच्चे भरा के बच्चे तो मेरे भरा होनी सारे अंदर ने जो उधरों इन्हों के टैसट होकर डायरेक्टिव रिपोर्ट आई है तो इन्होंने पॉजिटिव कट दी इन्हों के पॉजिटिव पैसे भी लते हैं तो पॉजिटिव रिपोर्ट देते कहते पॉजिटिव रिपोर्ट करनी है तो नैगेटिव करनी है तो पैसे दो The matter was resolved after five hours after the health authorities agreed to put them under home quarantine with certain conditions. The passengers left for their respective villages and hometowns in the evening. Punjab Congress Chief Navjo Singh Sidhu aimed a jibe at the BJP over Prime Minister Narendra Modi's security breach, saying he was troubled only by a 15-minute wait. The farmers, he said, had to wait for more than a year to get the farm law scrapped. The convoy of PM Modi, who was visiting Punjab after a two-year gap after his government scrapped the farm laws, was stuck on a flyover in Punjab's Firozpur Wednesday as farmers blocked the highway nearby. He was forced to return without addressing a political rally in Bhatinda, where he was headed. Novak Djokovic on Friday thanked people around the world for their support since he was dramatically refused entry to Australia over his COVID-19 vaccine status. The Serb, who is in a Melbourne immigration detention facility pending an appeal, thanked his supporters on Instagram. Djokovic, an outspoken vaccine skeptic, was held after arriving in Australia this week to play in the Australian Open, where he was bidding to win an unprecedented 21st Grand Slam title. The men's world number no. one's visa was revoked for falling to meet the country's tough pandemic restrictions, a development that has reverberated globally and sparked an angry reaction from Serbia. Djokovic said he had secured an exemption to play in the Australian Open this month. But the Australian government said he did not meet the stricter standard required to enter the country. Although Djokovic won a legal reprieve from deportation until at least Monday, when his attempt to overturn his visa cancellation will be heard in court, it is unclear whether he will play in January 17th to 30th tournament. When Sabha Kapoor got married, she ditched a traditional bridal entry under a phoolo ki chadar for something more unconventional. Months after her wedding, a video of her entry is now breaking the internet.
RRR is an upcoming period action drama film directed by Bahubali fame SS Raja Muli. The film stars N.T. Ramarao Jr., Ram Charan, Ajay Devgan, Alia Bhatt and Olivia Morris. It is a fictional story about two Indian revolutionaries who fought against the British Raj and Nizam of Hyderabad. RRR was scheduled to release theatrically on 7 January 2022 but was postponed indefinitely in early January due to restrictions on cinema due to COVID-19 pandemic. The film's release was deferred multiple times. Spider-Man's new movie Spider-Man No Way Home is collecting raging reviews from all across the world. This movie is shot in Atlanta, Georgia, and makers of the movie seem to be enjoying filming in Atlanta very much. Where am I? We down here in Georgia, baby. Down here in Georgia. With some creativity, you can shoot almost anything here in Atlanta. We have all our stages here. They've taken such good care of us. We are so lucky to be here. There's a great crew here. There are facilities here. There's equipment here. The vendors are fantastic. The scale of what they have is not to be underestimated. And to see it grow and evolve each year, it's great. Badass. And it's amazing to have a single home where we can have three or four productions going on at a time. The quality of the set build, the paint work, the effects just puts you right back on your game. Full credit to the set designers and all the crew that have just made it look incredible. I can't believe I'm in the Sanctum Sanctorum. You get to my eye. There's not a lot of states where you could do that, where they have the facilities and they have the equipment to manage that level of production. You won't know that it's not in New York when you see it. Yeah! Let's enjoy the behind the scenes of this Hollywood hit. Spider-Man, it's nice knowing you. Here we go. Look, Parker, the danger isn't Mysterio. It's you trying to live two lives at once. And the longer you go on doing that, the more dangerous it becomes. Wait, can't some people still know? That's not quite how the spell works, and it's very difficult and dangerous to try and change it mid-casting. Where am I? Give me the box. No. no. Yes. That was yeah. Badass. My name is Dr. Otto Octavius. Peter. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way your name's Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> Wait, seriously? <laughs> yeah. No, I really think that you should have a disguise. An effective one, but also one that's funny. In light of the recent... Well, that's all in this bulletin. Hope you like it. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and have a happy and safe new year to all of you again from the whole team of Time Stars Entertainment. Till next time, this is your host Namrata signing off. Bye-bye. Thank you.